guys welcome to diabetes doctor thank you for joining us today as usual you know we talk about everything diabetes everything to do with diabetes insulin medications diet exercise everything you want to know about diabetes you will find it on this channel and today i have come with a very very special guest i will allow him to introduce himself dr davis please introduce yourself people want to know oh well i, I crashed into this party um so i was not invited i i just uh, pushed myself into this discussion because i felt it was something really really interesting Oh, my name is Umbui Davis. I'm a consultant physician and a diabetologist. Um, I think we, we, we had a really good discussion about how we can you know, try and educate the public on issues surrounding uh, insulin. Mm -hmm. And today we actually have a very interesting topic. Yep. Just debunking on the myths surrounding insulin. Yeah. Well, so stay locked. Let's start and do this. Yep, and I'll start with the first question. So, Dr. Mbui, first of all, just explain what is insulin? Well, you know, that's that's one of those hard questions. Like, I'll, maybe let me just try and simpl simplify it down. Mm. Well, insulin is a hormone. Um, a hormone is a messenger. Mm -hmm. it's, it's secreted from an organ and it sends a signal somewhere for a function to be done. Mm -hmm. So, Insulin is actually a hormone which is being produced from the pancreas, a part of the pancreas. So let's not complicate this today. And it's a hormone which is secreted secondary to release of glucose. Okay, sorry, not release from glucose. It's actually when you take food and you have glucose in your system, it stimulates the pancreas to release the insulin. Mm -hmm. And the function of this insulin basically it's just to direct glucose to get into the tissues. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an analogy. Imagine a car. Okay, this is more to do with men, but I'll try. I'm, I'm being biased. You said women don't do cars. I'm, 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 this is the 21st century. Okay. We take offense. I, I apologize. I apologize. No. So, if you look at a car, um, a car needs to run, to move from one point to mm -hmm. the other. Mm -hmm. What does it need? It needs fuel. fuel. Okay? Mm -hmm. But, for you, for that fuel to work, it needs something to ignite it mm -hmm. so that combustion can happen. Mm -hmm. For that energy to rotate the motors and mm -hmm. the car to move from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let me use something like very close to women. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. like cooking. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so when you have something to cook mm -hmm. over a stove, mm -hmm. you have fire mm -hmm. and you have the food inside. Mm -hmm. For it to cook, you need to ignite the fire to start yes. so that the food can cook. Yes. So the same thing is insulin needs to direct glucose to enter into the cell. Mm -hmm. And the cell uses this glucose mm -hmm. to, I mean, conduct all the processes of the body that the body needs to do. I mean, yeah. To move, mm -hmm. to digest, to think, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to age. Mm -hmm. No, I, why are you saying age? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I but, take offense. Yeah. But yes, that's a really, really good analogy, okay. Dr. Ombui. I think you've been thinking about this for years, yeah? I just gave you the uh, opportunity. I've waited for this <laughs> moment for so long, for so long. But here it is. You see, it yeah. has been crashing yeah. this part. You did well. You did well. well. I think that's great. So let, mm. let, let me tease you a bit mm -hmm. with further question. You mm. know, I mean, we, we cannot stop there. Mm -hmm. Should we? No. No. Okay. Let's continue. So. I think I've already talked about what insulin is. Mm. I've talked about uh, what what it does mm -hmm. basically, where it comes from, and where it's produced. Mm -hmm. So how is it released? Well, that's a very good question. Yeah. So the good thing about insulin is that there's always insulin in the system for someone who has a normally functioning pancreas. So what happens is that the body always knows that there's some element of sugar. Uh, level going on in the system and what it's what we had said in a previous video is that the body loves control and the body loves knowing that things are to target set to target so there's something called homeostasis which basically means that the body wants your sugar to be between this level and this level that's it if it goes below something happens if it goes above something happens so insulin is produced according to how much sugar is in the system. And one of the things that um, the body usually uh, senses is when someone eats. Because once you eat, 
the glucose level is much higher just so you sleeping you, yeah kwanza oh, ugali ile ugali umekula So what happens is that the body is able to know that hey there's some some glucose coming in. So a high spike of insulin is actually produced because of trying to deal with that high load of glucose that's coming into the body. So what basically we are saying is that the body has a standard regular amount of insulin but with every meal there's a spike of insulin to tackle the high amount of sugar that's coming into the system. And and what about in between meals? In between meals there's still some insulin being produced. Okay. Yes. And that's what we call a basal insulin. It okay. is just in the body. Just to imeka tu inatulia ikiona umekula ka snack ndio huyo umeenda kuchukua ka chocolate inasema ni sawa tu. Let me go. Let me go. Yes. Let me remove exactly. So it sorts you in the middle of the day even when you are just eating small small things. Okay. Yes. I think that is really important because There are people who always ask this question about but why are they different types of yes, insulin? Yes. And I, I think we'll come to that. We'll, get we'll, that. we'll come to that. We'll get that. And actually maybe I've asked myself that question because <laughs> <laughs> I've waited for you to ask me. Yes. So let me ask. You. Mm. So how are they categorized? I mean from your point mm. which is critical. Yeah. People need to understand that the body responds to glucose. Yes especially after meals mm-hmm. so we call that fast imagine you've eaten it responds to it brings it down very fast normal to back, back to normal mm-hmm. levels mm-hmm. then in between meals i mean the processes of the body need to continue yes so some insulin need to be produced at a basal level mm-hmm. basal mm-hmm. level mm-hmm. just to sustain the other functions of the body mm-hmm. when you are not eating yes so in that you can already see there are two types of insulin basically we have this insulin that works to just lower that glucose that you eat after food we call that fast acting insulin mm. then we have that insulin that has to maintain your basal glucose levels in between uh, meals and we call that basal insulin, insulin. okay So you will find that sometimes a doctor prescribes two insulins to you. Yes. Okay. And you're wondering, and you're wondering why? why? Mm. And there are times they'll be prescribed to you just one insulin. Mm. So from patient to patient, the types of insulins that are given will depend on your condition. Uh it's not uh written somewhere that a specific patient needs to be given this specific insulin mm. depends on their condition mm. and insulin being a hormone basically means that they just took the human insulin someone extracted the human insulin copied it with technology and created a copy artificially mm-hmm. and that's why it can be created in artificial amounts outside the body yeah. and you are now given back the same insulin because you are deficient of it or you don't have it at all at all okay yes. mm. so having that conversation mm. so who would you prescribe insulin to yes that's a very good question so first of all we have we have explained what insulin is yeah. and how it's produced and why it's important for the body basically you cannot survive without insulin for long Uh, it will shorten your lifespan if you don't have insulin in your system. So insulin is very important, very critical. So there are some people who are born and they can't produce any insulin. They just the pancreas just gave up before it even started. Mazzy. Yeah. And it's just sad. That's just life. So when that happens, those ones need insulin. Those are type 1 diabetes patients and they need insulin. Now Uh there's also the other type of patient who started with type 2 diabetes which is insulin resistance we have talked about this you can check uh one of my videos the link will be in the description box below and it shows how type 2 diabetes comes about so you can have type 2 diabetes which now progresses to a point where the resistance is so much until the pancreas is like ninafanya hii kazi yote why nimechoka nimechoka so the pancreas stops and once it stops you have now converted into type 1 diabetes so you can start with type 2 diabetes and end up with type 1 diabetes now unfortunately there are many people out there who have type 2 diabetes and the pancreas has failed but no one is putting them on insulin and that is one of the issues that we are going to discuss today because we need to know what are these 
what is making people not move towards insulin when they have type 2 diabetes so remember you can be on medications oral medications for a while but it reaches a point where your body needs insulin and it is uh it is not rare it's a common occurrence and it happens quite a lot now mm. maybe just to add because i think that is a very sensitive topic to yes. many people yeah insulin demands or insulin patients who need insulin especially type 2 there are more than one mm. situations where they will need insulin yes. could you try and highlight a few yes yeah so we were we had just started so yeah. those are the, the patients who have converted back to type 1 now sometimes there are patients who have type 2 diabetes but they are in hospital and they have been admitted maybe to hdu with a heart attack or they have you know you can be in hospital for various things maybe there's an infection and usually what happens in in when you're in a critical illness like that the sugars just go very high and most of the time you'll find us switching to insulin to patients who've been admitted with other conditions and they have diabetes sometimes not all the time but a lot of the times you'll find us switching to insulin mm-hmm. and um it doesn't necessarily also mean that they will stay on insulin forever True. we always say we will review them as an outpatient and many times you are even able to convert back to oral medication are there newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes mm. who you start them on insulin yes why and actually that's very common yeah. so there are some uh, there's something called glucotoxicity which yes. means the sugar in the blood can reach a point where it is so high until the pancreas is like I can't deal. Yes. Like I I am not producing any more insulin until this matter is sorted out. Which is what we need to do about our politicians. But anyway, <laughs> we'll be banned from this we'll channel. Oh, okay, sawa. Okay, I am sorry. quiet. Let's go back to medicine. Sawa. Yeah. So, it reaches a point where the pancreas decides I'm not producing any more insulin until this sugar issue is sorted yes, out. out. So what happens is that we have to give the person insulin. Now, you know, getting insulin from now the the injections until the sugar comes down to a certain level where the pancreas now says, "Okay, now now I can work." I'm in a free. Now I'm in a free. I feel violence. this was yeah. that was too toxic that for was me. Too toxic for me. Yes. Like so now, it, okay. I was not targeting anyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry audience. I was not targeting. <laughs> so but yes. yes. <laughs> but to get the point. Yes. So the pancreas now decides, you know what? I can work again. The environment is free. So it is possible to be diagnosed as a type 2 diabetes patient and started on insulin, then with time followed up and you actually come gradually off the insulin and get to oral medication. So you've had mm-hmm. you can come to the clinic. Mm-hmm. I can start you on insulin as a type 2 diabetes. Please always be asking questions to your healthcare yes. providers. Why are you giving me insulin? Mm. The answers are there. We we'll always provide it to you so that yes. you understand the reason why we are doing some of these things. Mm. So, just to wrap up that discussion, yes, a type 2 diabetes can be given insulin. It's normal. There are those who can be given for a long duration. Mm. There are those who can be given for a short duration because we are targeting some things. Mm. Once we've already achieved what we want. We can move on to yeah. oral hypoglycemic mm. agents. Well, Dr. Ongui, it has been such a pleasure having you on the show. You are always intriguing and engaging and uh, he is an awesome diabetes doctor as well. So tell us where can people find you if they want to look for you? Okay. Mm. I wanted to say something different but well, <laughs> officially you can find me at Davis Ongui uh, on Twitter D A V I S O M B U I. Yeah, that's my handle. For those who want to find him elsewhere please you can only go through me I will let you know <laughs> otherwise <laughs> you can always also find me on my handles diabetes doctor on YouTube diabetes doctor ke on Facebook and then diabetes doc underscore ke on Instagram and Twitter thank you and have a wonderful week ahead stay sugar free oh yeah <laughs> <laughs>